I'm here to tell you the real story about what happened to this plane. This plane actually hit the Bermuda Triangle. They do not want to come out and tell you that because then there'll be skeptics all over the place. So you have this 27 year old that's been flying this Boeing for a long time. And what they don't want to tell you is the Bermuda Triangle actually stretches to that part. And that's why the plane disappeared. But CNN, HLN, the local news will not tell you that. I'm here to tell you that because I flew through it myself. And the gadgets go crazy. You don't know where you're at. You get turned around. Before you know it, the plane is down in the water. So I'm just here to tell you my story about it. And I will let you listen to a little bit of news footage, which is actually BS. They should just tell you the truth of what really happened. Now look, I'm going to give you their take on the story, which is false. But this is what American news feed us. Now watch their story. I'm telling you what happened. The Bermuda Triangle sucked that plane up. I've been there before. Your gadgets get turned around. You crash and you don't know it. Me and my team was actually lucky to survive. But let's hear America's news and tell you the story. Here it goes. How could a plane packed with passengers disappear over the South China Sea? This plane stopped transmitting any information. It disappeared. If it was terrorism, it had to happen very, very suddenly. We have not found anything that appears to be objects from the aircraft, let alone the aircraft. This was way out of the ordinary. This is just something that that happened instantaneously or relatively quickly and overcame the crew and overcame the aircraft. It's a mystery that has the whole world totally baffled and it's terrifying everybody who has to get on a plane. A huge jet simply vanishes, completely disappears into thin air in mid-flight with 239 people on board. It's been three days and not a single tiny solitary trace has been found. What happened to the 239 human beings on that plane? What happened to the plane? Less than one hour after takeoff, flight 370 was at a safe cruising altitude. The skies were clear. With no warning, the plane just disappears. Searchers thought they found an oil slick that might be from the plane, but turns out, wrong, it wasn't. Then reports that a plane door and its tail had been spotted, also wrong, it wasn't. Not a trace has been discovered. Tantalizing clues tonight, two suspicious passengers boarded that plane with stolen passports and five people checked in at the airport then failed to get on the plane their bags were removed but could that be more than a coincidence five people didn't get on this flight there are also reports the jet tried to turn around before it went out of range but if somebody had tried to hijack the plane or there was a mechanical failure why didn't the pilots radio they said absolutely nothing uh it, it's just a total baffling mystery. Listen to this. The debris field, if it was an in-flight, a, a mid-air explosion, the debris would be scattered wide and far, and so much on the plane will float. You know, the seat cushions, the life vests, the life rafts, the service uh, carts and containers, parts of the wing, parts of the tail, all that will float, and there's nothing. It is very, very surprising. Straight out to John Lusich, you're a licensed commercial pilot. How bizarre is this? I mean, it's blowing everybody's mind. It's all we can talk about. Yeah, it's totally bizarre because we can't find the airplane. We know by now it, it's somewhere because it doesn't have enough uh, fuel to keep going. So three things could have happened to this airplane. Number one, it crashed into the ocean. Number two, it crashed into the ground or got below radar and then landed someplace else and they're holding these hostages. Um, and remember, the hijackers in 9-11 became familiar with the aviation system. If these guys knew aviation and knew what a transponder was, they knew that pilots would put in the squawk code of 7500 for a hijacking, which is a quiet alert to ATC, air traffic control. If they knew that, they would prevent the pilots from doing that, get them below altitude, and land that airplane. Well, I think that's uh, a far-fetched scenario, it's still a possibility, absent of facts in this case. Many say it's unlikely the plane's disappearance is due to a terrorist attack because well-known organizations usually take credit for those attacks. Uh, only one minor group is taking credit, and it's been sort of discounted. But listen so back to the story. 
exactly what they want you to believe. Terrorist attack, this, that, that. They're trying to get people spooked again. Airlines just barely came back out of September 11th. Spook, 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 spooky all the day. No, that ain't what happened. Plane got disrupted in the Bermuda Triangle. I'm calling it first. John Corn 4, you too, baby. J-O-H-N-C-U-R-R-E-N-T-4. You watched it here first. Tell your friends about it. That's exactly what happened. And you heard it here first. You don't need a news reporter to tell you that, A, it's not a terrorist. It's actually just a malfunction of the plane. And check your local weather. He's probably wrong on that, too. Thanks. John Kern for YouTube out.